Hey everybody, it's Ares. So I just picked this game up off of Steam. I know a little bit about it because I watched a few videos on it. It's an older game. It's called Beyond Two Souls. And uh completely story driven. And it's something different from what I've already have up on my site, so for you that join in I've seen it. You can relive it and for those of you uh haven't heard it about it or seen it before huh? Let's see where this takes us it's starring a uh, Ellen Page or Ethan Page now and Willem Dafoe I was born with a strange gift the ability to see what no human being has ever seen before it's all mixed up in my head the images the sounds the smell I need to remember. Put things in order right up to this moment. Remember who I am. If I had to say how it all began, I might just as well start here. I found you by the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. Was there an accident? Did, did someone try to hurt you? How about a name? Someone I could contact? You must have family, friends, someone who could tell me who you are. Hey. You don't talk much, do you? Well, if you don't help me, I can't help you. <sighs> oh, I get nowhere. Is that a scar? Is that a reason? To Them. They have no idea what they're up against. Tell them to wait until I get there. Just get back to them immediately, you hear me? You've got to stop them. Goddamn fools.
How you doing today, Jody? Good? <laughs> I hate to bother you when you're playing and all, but uh, I believe it's time, honey. Girl, you'll have plenty of time to play later. All right, Nathan's waiting for us. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. I don't have any more Hi, Cole. Seriously? Hey, Alan. It is nearly ready. It was due two weeks ago. I said it's nearly Hello, ready. precious. Don't you look pretty today? Better late than never, I guess. Here we are. It's gonna rain this weekend. We got a lot of rain this year. I suppose that's true. It hasn't been particularly cold. No, it hasn't. Come on, Jody. Babysitting detail, huh, Cole? Ha ha ha. Very yeah. funny, Phil. Keep moving. Hey, Jody. How's your day been so far? Pretty good. Okay, we're gonna put this on now. Remember? It's just like a crown. Oh, yeah. Oh, now you're a little princess. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm right next door if you need me, okay? Hey, Jody, can you hear me? Okay, let's start. Kathleen is next door, and she has the same cards as you. And we're gonna get her to choose one and see if you can tell us which one she chose. You think you can do that? First card. Next card.
Next card. Very good, Jody. Let's try something else. There's some building blocks on the table in the other room. You think you can make them fall over? Good, Jody. Anything else in the room you can move? Jody, honey, the experiment is over. It's locked. The door's locked. I'm no, telling Kathleen, you, it's, it's locked. not locked. It's probably get me just out of here. Just a moment. Get me out of here now. Calm down, Kathleen. Go get the door. You have to stop now, Jody. The test is over. You need to stop. Lock. Calm down, Kathleen. We're on our way. Jody, something's wrong. She's in danger. Get her out of there! Jody! It's over, Jody. It's over. It's over. It will never be over. Uh, that was intense. That was... Let's go into the next chapter. It's, wow. I, I, I gotta keep going. So, here we go. Who are these people? Ah, diplomats, politicians, businessmen, spies. It's the usual embassy crowd. This dress sucks. I knew I should have worn something else. The dress is perfect. You look great. But the most important thing, Act natural. If anyone speaks to you, you just smile. So do you want me to act natural, or do you want me to smile? I didn't know you had a sense of humor. Only when I'm scared to death. Ryan, I'm delighted you could attend. Always a pleasure, Sheikh Ahmed. I uh, would like you to meet my assistant, Elizabeth. I was unaware that American diplomacy was undertaken with such disarming charm. The pleasure is mine, Elizabeth. Gentlemen, I give you back your host. 
We'll talk later on that. Until then, Ryan. He hates me. The whole time he was imagining my head on a stick. I think he found you charming. I should be flattered. Yeah, I'm gonna shake some hands, blend in, find some more quiet. You know what you have to do. Ah, Ambassador, you're a sight for sore eyes. I need to find a quiet place. المتاجر الكبيرة وفي النهاية لم يكن هناك مكان كافي ألا مؤني طائرة فرجاء جوزي مرة أخرى إلى هناك من أجل بكية المشتريات أما أنا فقد اشتريت مقتنيات كثيرة جدا من نفس النجر حتى أن يوسف فضل أن يشتريه بكامله فعندما أرهب لتسوق يعلق علم هلا في وجهه زبعين ليتبدع على رهاتي Hayden, are you ready? There's a large painting in one of the rooms upstairs. Behind it is a safe. The documents we're looking for are inside. But there are guards and cameras, so you have to be careful, you got it? It hurts like hell when you're too far away. An office with a portrait of the Sheik. This is the place. Crap. You gotta distract the guard first. Okay. Nobody will be able to monitor the main office now. We should be safe. There's got to be a switch somewhere. To move the painting. Find it, Aiden.
Now let's see if you can open the safe. Good job. Now we have to read the documents. Make it quick. I can't hold on much longer. Okay, now don't move. هناك الرجاء الخروج من هناك على الفور ولكن ماذا تفعل هنا ان هم رحد السيدات انصرف من هنا ايها المنحرف انصرف Listen, I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't go. Jody, you've been begging me for weeks. You're not gonna back up now. I don't know anybody there. They might all hate me and... Stress, stress is awful. Let's just go. Just take a deep breath. There's no reason to panic. It's just a birthday party. I'm sure everybody will like you. You'll have fun, maybe meet some new friends. Go on. Oh, don't forget your present. It's a book of poetry by Poe. It's 50 years old and very rare. I'm sure she'll like it. Don't worry. It's gonna be all right. I'll pick you up at five. Have fun.
Hey, Jody, come in. Hi. Hey, Kirsten, you come in? I gotta go. Come in, Jody. Don't be shy. Hey, Jody, right? Come on, we're in the living room. Some girls from my school and these dorky guys we could find. Oh, is that a present for me? Cool. Thanks. I'm off, darling. Look after your friends and don't do anything stupid, all right? Sure, Mom, whatever you say. Oh, finally, she gets the hint. Hi, everyone. This is Jody. She's in Unit 4 with Mom. Unit 4? The paranormal department? Ooh, what you do there? Bend spoons or speak to dead people? No. Stuff like that? No. No! Party time! I'll get the beer. Guys, do the shutters. Girls, do the candles. And Jody, you can take care of the music. Let's get crazy! Garbage is bad. Slide over. We'll put on something from this century. Something really popping. Kirsten, you're a genius. Daddy, you want one? Yeah, cool, sure. <laughs> hey, don't choke on it. I bet it's your first time. No, I've had some before. <laughs> of course you have. I'm Matt. Jody, right? I've never seen you at school before. You don't take classes on bass? I'm in a different program with, with my own teacher. It's, it's kind of boring. <laughs> I, I, I never get to see people my age. I, I suppose I've gotten used to it. So you work with Kirsten's mother? Yeah. We work in the in the same lab. She thought it would be a good idea for me to come and spend time with people my age, so uh, here I am. <laughs> I used to live in, in London before I moved here two years ago. And you? Where did you live before? New York? Oh, man, I love New York. It's awesome. I went there once and it blew me away. Do you have any hobbies? Anything you do for, like, fun? I surf any chance I get and I play in a band with a bunch of friends. <laughs> and you, what, what are you into? Nothing special. I read a lot. It's boring, <laughs> I guess. 
Can I... Can I ask you something? Why are you in Unit 4? I'd rather not talk about it. Sorry, damn, I'm so stupid. I, I hope I haven't, like, upset you or anything. No, that's okay. Oh. Oh, slow dance. Are you, you up for it? Sure. all the time, but you're really pretty, you know. Do you say that to all the girls you meet? <laughs> you know, like other girls, I mean, there's, there's something special about you. Thanks. You don't really know me. <laughs> Thanks for the dance, Matt, but I, I think I'll pass. Guys, guys, why doesn't Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers? <laughs> no, Great no, idea. no, I, I'd pay to see that. Uh, ugh, forget it, it's just a little bull. Yeah, come on, Jody, show us what you can do. Okay, Jody, you up for demonstration? All right, then. So, what are you going to do, Jody? Just be quiet and don't move. <laughs> oh, I'm scared already. I just want my pants. <laughs> Shut up, Stephen. <laughs> there. I saw something. Don't be stupid, Emma. There's nothing. I swear it. I felt something. It's like there, there was someone. Look at the table. Okay, I've had enough. Yeah, me too. Uh, that, that was really scary. I didn't mean to, to frighten anyone. Sorry, I... You know, you guys insisted and... Right, okay guys, it's time to eat that delicious cake and most important, to open my birthday <sighs> gifts. Actually, the cake can wait. I'm opening my gifts first. Love, Jen, XXX. Oh, that's nice, babe. I bet it's knee socks. A thong, just exactly what I needed. Now you can stop stealing your mom's. <laughs> and improve your chances of finding a decent boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> my future lover wants to thank you for making his life more interesting. What is that? An old book. It smells funky. It's a really rare collection of uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan who? What, did you steal this from your grandpa's library? No, no, and it's really rare. Yeah, just like your dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, is this a joke? I can't believe you came all the way to my birthday party just to give me this old crap. And she thinks she's so clever. But she's just a little lab rat. 
A freaky little lab rat. Yeah. She's been following me around like a puppy all evening. Begging for it. Oh. And she's a slut, too. I never wanted to invite her. My mom made me. Yeah, she's a slut. A slut and a witch. We should, like, do something to her. What do you do with witches? You burn them. <laughs> Please! Stop! Stop! Oh, mistress of the obscure go! darkness! Let me go! Bring forth your mighty power! <laughs> <laughs> Please! Please! Let me Not out! From the first moment I saw I'm her. begging you! Please! Let me out! Please! Did someone say cake? Please! Yeah, I want to get out! Please! I want to get out! I'm begging yeah, you! Please! Let me out! out. <laughs> Get me out of here, please. <laughs>
Well, that's some insight on what she can do. Um, we're going to stop it here. And we'll pick it up next time. I'm interested to see what she can do. See what leads into that SWAT team attack. But yeah, until next time. We'll see you.